So welcome. This is our fifth cohort um, signed for CAP, which is really exciting. We started this um, about six and a half years ago and really had high hopes that it would be successful, but it's something very new for Alamance County. So we're very happy to be here for the fifth cohort tonight. I'm Andrea Fleming. I'm our Director of Existing Industry Services at the Alamance Chamber. So I work with companies all across the county um, and do a lot of work for workforce development. So making sure that the companies all across the county will have that future talent pipeline. So those skilled workers that are now in middle school and high school coming up, getting their um, training, getting their education, and then hopefully wanting to stay in Alamance County to go to work. Uh, we've been a partner since the very beginning, um, pulling all these the companies together. Uh, and we also serve as the Economic Development Agency for Alamance County. So we really want to make sure that the companies that are here right now have the workforce that they need, but also we do a lot of work with recruiting new companies. Um, hopefully some of the room have, have heard about UPS uh, being in the news about moving in the area. And things like that are really huge for economic development. But those 450 people that the company needs to employ if they choose to locate here, they need some skilled training. They're going to need some mechatronics engineers uh, later on. So I'm really happy for the apprentices tonight. You guys saw an opportunity, along with your parents and guardians, hopefully, that something new, something different, something that you may not have heard of before your junior or senior year in high school. And some of the things about the apprenticeship program do sound too good to be true. Um, but they really are, and hopefully you'll hear from, from Justin in a little bit about um, his experience over the four years for the CAP program. But you did really go out and do something new and different, something that your friends may question you, you're doing what after graduation? Um, but it'll be interesting to go back to your high schools in four or five, year, or five or ten years at your unions and talk to your classmates, see what they're doing, see what they're doing for a job. There's probably going to be some chatter about paying back their student loans you will be employed, you won't have a student loan, you'll have a great education and four years of fantastic work experience. So I applaud you for making this decision. We're very happy to have uh, several of our CAP partners here tonight. Um, I'm happy to introduce next Jim Bryan. He's with Perry Stone Fabrics and is one of the founding partners in CAP and he serves as our chair of our steering committee. So the partners with the Alamance Wellington School System the community college and the chamber, we all kind of help run the program, but really the heavy lifters are the companies that actually employ the apprentices and obviously could not do it without them. And thank, very thankful always for Jim's leadership. Thank you. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, I just want to welcome everybody to the signing of the fifth cohort of apprentices for Alamance Cap. Uh, as Andrea said, we started this journey six years ago. Uh, we started with uh, seven companies. We're up to ten companies, and we're actively recruiting uh, additional companies to join us. Uh, so if anybody out there knows, works for a company or knows of a company that we ought to contact, please have them contact uh, one of us. Uh, Andrea is specifically, and we'll try and get them involved in the program. Uh, as Andrea said, it's a collaborative effort, uh, and it's the uh, Chamber, now the Apprentice North Carolina, uh, the Burlington, Alamance Burlington School System, ACC, as well as uh, the homeschool community and uh, the private schools uh, in, in Alamance County. Uh, I want to thank everyone who contributes to the Alamance staff. Uh, we all have full-time jobs, uh, but the program to be successful uh, is for the future of our companies, of the apprentices, and of their families. I'd like to make sure we acknowledge the efforts of Katina Akukwe, uh, who is the apprenticeship coordinator for ACC. Uh, we could not be here tonight without her efforts on an ongoing basis. And she also took the ball and created the virtual orientation that we went through, uh, which was a uh, huge undertaking. And I thought it really came out well. Uh, I was very impressed with the 18 uh, apprentices that, that went through that program. And I wish more of them were here um, tonight. Uh, 
Uh, apprenticeship is one of a number of tools that the com that companies in Alameda County are using to develop the next te technical workforce. We have to respond uh, to industry needs to be successful in the future. And we have partners in Alameda Burlington School System and HCC who are changing curriculum, adding classes uh, for the things that our companies in Alameda County need to be successful going forward. Our expectations for this cohort uh, were to have many more people here tonight. Uh, the COVID-19 virus uh, has made, a, made this a very challenging year. Most of our members went through that drastic restructuring or short-term reorganization, which included furloughs and closing of plants for extended periods of time. Several companies are still running uh, reduced schedules. Ironically, we had a cohort of 18 strong candidates in the year when most of our companies had to reduce hiring. I encourage those who were not selected to reapply for the coming year. Uh, you made the extra efforts to distinguish yourselves from a talented group of pre-apprentices completed the uh, six-week period uh, successfully, so congratulations to all of you. To date, uh, Alamance Cap has 93% retention rate uh, for the first four uh, cohorts. We'll graduate our first class in late 2020. The majority have focused on mechatronics uh, curriculum in our manufacturing companies. However, there are opportunities in quality control, IT, CNC machining, and other categories as our companies, current companies or new companies, uh, join the effort. We also have several companies that are in need of engineers who will require uh, additional degrees or advanced degrees to get into those positions. What does uh, tonight mean? What is the results of your expectations uh, when you uh, finish this program in four years? One, uh, you have a free college education. Uh, books and costs like that are already are covered. You have full-time employment uh, with benefits, so uh, depending on the company's uh, policies, everybody can jump into the 401k and have their own health care, and all those uh, benefits that all of us have as regular employees. Look at uh, uh, a journeyman's license, and whatever uh, you decide to, uh, to study and excel in, and you have a guaranteed job after graduation, which that was to happen. This year, you'd be somewhere at $36,000 or higher uh, if you graduate this year. There's also continuing education opportunities at all the member companies. Uh, so if you choose to do that, you can choose to find uh, classes here or in some other uh, area that is relating to your job. Uh, most of us have tuition reimbursement um, because we need to keep that learning process going just the next step uh, for you. Uh, if you have friends or family, as I said before, are in interested in applying, please encourage them to do so. As we start uh, recruiting our sixth cohort uh, in September. I also want to remind the, the apprentices tonight that some people consider you lucky to be where you are and what you're doing. I disagree. I believe you have earned your jobs by going through an extensive interview process. It puts you ahead of your peers. Uh, it is the start of your next phase of learning. And it is uh, and you are earning while you're learning, and we are building a better workforce for tomorrow. It's now my pleasure to introduce virtually uh, Dr. Benson from uh, Alabama Burlington School System. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bruce Benson, superintendent of Alamance Burlington Schools, and I'm excited to be here, albeit virtually, to celebrate and recognize the newest members of our Alamance Career Accelerator Program, or CAP. A little bit later this evening, we will celebrate the formal signing of agreements between our students and their host companies, local companies committed to growing their next generation of talent. 
Each signed agreement is valued at over $170,000 and a guaranteed career at the end of the four-year commitment. Let me repeat that. Each signed agreement is valued at over $170,000. So what's included? All expenses paid for a two-year degree at Alamance Community College, including books and tuition in mechatronics, machining, or industrial systems. Wages paid while on the job and in the classroom. A journeyman's certification from the state of North Carolina upon completion and a guaranteed job. We currently have 29 active apprentices in the program. We'll be adding four tonight. Thank you to our 10 local businesses, just an incredible effort. AKG, ECI, Ferrystone Fabrics, GKN, Glen Raven, Indolore, Intrapack, J-Bill, Sandvik, and Shawmut. While the pandemic has certainly presented some challenges both to our local companies and to our students, it, was, it just was a remarkable effort. We had 39 students submit CAP applications and 24 were invited to orientation, which was held virtually. Students engaged in personality tests, uh, soft skills training, caliber reading activities, and flat pattern drawing. Really a win-win for everyone. Well, actually a win-win and a win. A win for students, a win for businesses, and a win for our community. Thank you to our business partners and the Alamance Chamber for making this incredible opportunity a reality. And finally, congratulations to our soon-to-be new apprentices. Hello everyone. On behalf of Alamance Community College, I'd like to welcome all of you, students, faculty, family members, employers, and educators to another apprenticeship signing ceremony. I believe the most visible intersection of education and workforce training and economic development is the Career Accelerator Program. This learn and earn apprenticeship program is key to helping bridge the skills gap in advanced manufacturing. The collaboration of ABSS, ACC, the Chain of Commerce, and nine local companies with a need for highly skilled workers is one step toward addressing the skills gap locally. As some of you may recall, we began initial discussion in March of 2014. Today, the fifth cohort of students is formally signing on as apprentice with an area industry. Initial discussions five years ago began in part with ACC trying to discern its center of excellence. Those discussions raised awareness, largely thanks to GKN, of the critical need for the workers who have specific skills in ro the robotics industry. The United States is a nation with an aging population. 10,000 baby boomers will reach retirement age each day for the next 18 years. That is 3.65 million each year. That means there are some big shoes to fill in the coming years, but our apprentices will be some of the best trained workers in the country ready to fill those needs. ACC began to with Megatronics and then added its computer integrated machining and industrial systems programs to this career accelerator program, providing additional opportunities for our employers and prospective workers. On behalf of Alamance Community College, I thank you for your interest and participation in bridging the skills gap and contributing to economic development in Alamance County. Thank you. Our next speaker is uh, Catherine Costellos, and she's the Apprenticeship Director for uh, Apprenticeship North Carolina, which is headquartered Good in evening. Uh, Raleigh. Good evening. Thank you for including me in your celebration. And this truly is a celebration. For tonight, we celebrate the beginning of your career path. Employers all across the country consider registered apprenticeship to be the gold standard of training. It combines the benefits of both on-the-job learning and classroom instruction. 
Companies need it. Companies want it. And it's not just companies in North Carolina, not just the United States, but companies all over the world. Tonight, you participate in an education and training model that dates back to ancient Egypt. Apprenticeships were used to teach the art of making the blocks to build the pyramids. And here in America, we have some well-known historical figures like Paul Revere, Benjamin Franklin. They were apprentices. And I'm very proud to say in North Carolina, we're continuing to build on that history. I'm also proud that apprenticeships continue to grow in our state. Last fiscal year, we serviced over 15,000 North Carolinians. That's the most we've done in over 10 years. And since Apprenticeship NC has joined the North Carolina Community College system, the number of people served has increased by 80%. I'm also happy to say that Apprenticeship continues to grow in our high schools. On June the 30th, we had over 600 high school students registered in a pre-apprenticeship or registered apprenticeship. And the opportunities continue to grow. Last year, we had over 117 apprenticeship programs pre-apprenticeships and on-the-job learning programs registered. Employers are seeing the value of, the, of building this pipeline of talent to meet their needs. And apprenticeships are valuable to employers in many different occupations, the skilled trades, advanced manufacturing, of course, but also in healthcare, information technology, logistics, finance, and so many more. Apprenticeships are for all different sizes of businesses too. It's for a small business, even your multinational corporation. Apprenticeship provides a career path for a wide variety of individuals, including high school students, an adult looking to learn a new skill, military personnel transitioning out of the military into civilian life. And tonight, you start on your career path. It's gonna be both challenging and rewarding. So on behalf of all of us at Apprenticeship NC, I wish you the very best. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to hear from uh, Justin Patton, uh, our fourth year of this at Terry Stone. And uh, just to give you a perspective of what he's done in four years, he's been in plant maintenance, he's been in machining, he's been in electronics, uh, he's been an operator, a treasurer, uh, a mechanic, uh, as, as well as the other four that are. He also earned the right to go to Germany to spend uh, two weeks at the uh, OEM that makes all of the machines so that he could learn more about how the machines are made, why they're made the way they are, also to understand how to make back better from the, the experts. <coughs> hey guys, my name is Justin. Uh, congratulations and welcome to CAP. I just like to people speak a little bit about my experiences with you guys real quick. This is my fifth year um, as an apprentice. Should be graduating this fall, I believe. And I just wanna say, it's been a wonderful experience between going to school, learning about mechatronics, robots, uh, programming, motors, and then coming to work and just immediately using that knowledge that I learned in class and applying it between making new projects, um, you know, repairing, replacing motors, installing new machines and anything like that I just think I just want to say if you guys you know study hard you work really hard you have plenty of new experiences and a great time ahead of you once again uh, congratulations and welcome to cap so now we come to that uh, most important part of uh, signing uh, the apprenticeship documents and getting you on your way so we're going to do this one at a time. So uh, Nathan Huffman, you are number one. Please come up. If your parents would come up. And yeah, bring your pen. Good. Tiffany, come on up.
the other thing that I, I want to make sure that in our organization here at CAP, we believe in teamwork. Uh, teamwork is going to, to kind of make you a, a better person and uh, contribute to your success in whatever you're, uh, you choose to do in the future. Uh, and so we, we try to bring that, all the cohorts together on a, on a plan basis. If you can learn faster from them, then you'll have a little bit of learn from me. And you get you know, more information and you feel more comfortable about the process uh, as it progresses. So, congratulations. Tiffany, thank you for being here. Tiffany is our regional uh, contact uh, for apprenticeship. And so, we're uh, thankful for her support as well. And uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Congratulations to uh, each and every one of you. And look forward to seeing you on campus or in the in, in, uh, socially distanced groups, group meetings uh, around uh, with all the companies. Because you will get experience, you will get experience at each company, hopefully over the next year, or at least over the next two years, and come to visit each of the companies and understand what each of us does uh, so that uh, you get a broader understanding of what the real world is when it comes to work. Okay? Congratulations, thank you.